So today I'm going to give you an update on my intro scale switching modules from my iPhone. So hopefully this all works. I continue to have issues with the uh, computer I use. It is an old one. Um, I put three videos together at once. Might have been too much for it, but uh, hopefully, um, hopefully we can resolve that and hopefully this will work. Um, so uh, what I wanted to um, do next was start to look at some of the other industries and structures on my layout and as you've seen I'm not finished with um, any of the other structures uh, but I really wanted to get some uh, uh, grain or corn silos in and looking around at the kits out there they're pretty darn expensive so um, I found this one from Columbia Valley Model I don't think that it's around anymore. I did find it at the local hobby shop. And so what it is are these two smaller grain silos um, in, a, in a craftsman style kit, it's not plastic. Um, so what the kit comes with though are essentially cardstock. So almost like toilet paper rolls, a little bit thicker, a little bit thicker. And it comes with these. The, and, uh, and then it comes with this uh, silver uh, foil-like siding here as well. Then to make the tops, it comes with a bunch of uh, uh, metal parts. So one, it looks like one bag for each uh, silo. And then it has uh, for the bottoms uh, two um, cardstock or cardboard pieces. And finally, if I can get this out, it also has this as well, another piece, a little piece of wood here. And then th this really thin piece of wire, which is hard to see. Um, I've seen it put together once before on an older layout and it may be hard to see here but you can see there are um, ladders and so I believe that's what the thin wire is for this cost me $20 at the hobby shop definitely a better investment than the plastic ones that you see out there you get one silo for about $21 $22 then you have to buy the if you're gonna have conveyors or roof walks or anything like that you have to buy those separately so those quickly add up you're talking somewhere in the 60 70 dollar range if you're going to get two silos um, conveyors and roof walk and those sorts of things so i wanted to start with this plus i'm really much more intrigued with building models and then putting plastic ones together at this point so continuing on with the columbia valley uh, models uh, um, grain silos. It does come with a full set of instructions that shows you where um, you want to want to put cuts in the foil sidings. Comes back and shows you where to put the items together. What's but very also very interesting and different from other kits is they come with two what look like very old style photographs. Like uh, this, these little paper photographs here, just uh, printed to show you um, how to put the roofing sections together, and also how to manage to work with the the, the foil siding. And the kits originally came with the um, the butler. Um, the butler uh, logos to put on as you see them doing as you see them doing right here um, I don't see those in this kit at all that's no matter I certainly might um, put whatever I need on there for my own use just checking it does not look like Oh, no, I apologize. There you go. They're already, they're already stuck on. So when you cut these out, that's what 
this one is referring to. So there you go. So a full kit, an old kit. The other thing that I'm working on this, um, that I started this summer and will take me all the way through into uh, May of 2022 is I'm scratch building a passenger station, a modern passenger station, the one I grew up with on New Jersey Transit in New Brunswick, New Jersey. And that's my first full real scratch build. I'm doing that for the, uh, um, the AP program with the, the, the achievement program with the NMRA. And in May of 2022, our region, the Thousand Lakes region is gonna have their uh, convention. And I plan to put that in for merit judging at the convention. 